Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. You recall at the end of the previous uh, part, part 5, that I mentioned I'd be adding here in part 6 of how to create an access database some more buttons and I've done that by adding these four buttons here. I'm just going to add another one called delete record just to uh, remind you of how to do this. So in design view I'm going to click on the button here and draw a little uh, box down there. Up pops the wizard, the record operations. I'll add delete record. For the previous buttons I was in record navigation and added those buttons via those commands there. But in record operations I see I can delete a record and I'll go to next the text delete record next we'll name it delete record and finish and there is my delete record button there so I'm just going to uh, make the detail section a little bit bigger by dragging on the divider and I see that some of these uh, buttons are not the same size well uh, just the top three of the same size. So to fix that I'm going to drag that one out of the way and click up here in the ruler that selects them all and then in the arrange I'm going to go to size and space and I'll say to widest puts them all there and just to make sure that they're all equidistant I'll say equal vertical and that makes them all the uh, same size and the same distance between them. So no problem there now I'm going to drag that one back but what I'd like to do now I'll just uh, resize that one slightly just so that it looks nice and neat. What I'm going to do now is in the design tab I'm going to choose the rectangle, this one here. And the reason I do that is because I can now select that, that area and I'm going to use a special effect. And the special effect I'm going to use is to make this area look as it were sunken. So I'll right click and when I go down to special effect down here I can look across and I'll choose the one that says sunken. Now I'm going to save the change let's have a look at how it appears now in our form view and you'll see that this area here looks to be sunken. It just adds that slightly more professional look to my uh, to my database. So that was nice and easy just again in design view I, I uh, moved that out of the way I used the ruler to make them all the same size and I also equidistant distanced them with the um, uh, with the command and then I selected the rectangle tool up here in the controls in the design tab drew a rectangle around that area right click on an edge of the rectangle went down to special effect and I choose sunken here. What I could have done if I had clicked raised this one here and looked at the form view it would have appeared raised as it were so I might save that one I'm quite happy with that so we'll save that change and remember to, <coughs> remember to practice on these uh, these things and you'll soon see that it is not difficult now that's all we're going to do in forms um, as far as design is concerned and adding buttons and what I like to do in the next upload which will be part 7 is to start to talk about queries 
one of the very important parts in databases is to use queries to extract information. So see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.